love the scenery of Delfino Plaza. But I gotta get the lights back right here. Hey guys, it's Tony 21 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last part, we got our first shine sprite, and we got locked up in jail. But in this part, we are gonna clean up some stuff around Delfino Plaza. What do you have to say, Toadsworth? Well, I'm pleased to see you're safe. I must tell you. We were walking around town earlier, and it seems the area near the Shine Gate is still quite bright. Perhaps you should check it out, Master Mario. Mm, not really. I want to see what the princess has to say. Oh, Mario, you're okay after all. I just knew you would be. Well, I'm glad you are. Now, showing that big octopus galop that we saw in the previous video. <laughs> and why is the sky so dark, huh? It's non sun -drenched. This is hardly my idea of a relaxing vacation, Mario. I want to go home right now. Well, I do feel bad for you, Princess, but I'm going to have to clean things up right now. Anyway, you see this Pianta right here? He's covered goo. You just clean him up. Let me just show you. He does his dance and he says this. Monka ba! Ha ha! Monka! Yeah, it's very funny. Who you saved me! Thanks to Bundle! Yeah, it always says that. You just... <laughs> That's what all the male Piantas would say. Anyway, I'm going to go around in front, as you might see... You might see there was a big, uh, uh, lumpy glop right there. And of course, you might be remembering what that is. Well, there's one thing I hate about this game. Recycle bosses. Yep, we're gonna fight the polluted piranha again, but this time he's brown, not rainbow color. Well, that's kinda easy. Well, there's one thing I should say about this, uh, uh, throughout this let's play, if you remember uh, when I did Super Mario 64, uh, well, uh, after I finish, like, the first day missions of each world, the, uh, the interactive menus are gonna go up, but... Just like how I do with my Mario 64, let's play. You might remember that, okay? Princess, look! On the statue's head! She didn't even say what! Uh, oh my god, it's the Water Mario again! Robots are taking over the world! Mario? How did you forget? What the- You princess whore, that is not Mario! He's made of water! Anyway, we're here with a new villain, Shadow Mario. And of course, just like in every Mario game, he's capturing Princess Peach! Man, that's just so topsy turvy around here. Anyway, so if you slide on water, yeah, it's a cool trick. You can go even faster for speed runs. So I'm just gonna slightly press the R button, I'm gonna spray Shadow Mario down, that's all you're supposed to do. It. That's it! That's all I have to do! Oh, wow, that's fair, completely not fair! You shouldn't be allowed to use tool like that! Oh, <laughs> whatever, now he goes away. I'm gonna go talk to Peach and see what she has to say. Mario, I'm sure I saw that person out on the airship. I'm positive he's responsible for all this. Chase him! Okay, so, now we're gonna have to chase Shadow Mario, just like how the princess wants me to do. And this is something that's really odd. There's Shadow Mario, and he's moving right around, and I'm right here in front of the statue. As you see, the cutscene activated, and I'm not really there! What the heck happened?! They just pushed me all the way back there?! I have no idea why they do that. Anyway, so we're gonna have to spray this M graffiti, which of course activates as a portal, so we can go on to the first level of the game, which is called Bianca Hills. We're gonna start the first episode, Road to the Big Windmill. Yeah, whatever. Missions episode. They're called episodes in this game, so I'm gonna call them episodes. Ah oh, man, not again. We're going against again the same recycle boss as before. Oh boy. Okay, so here we're at Bianca Hills, it's mostly water-based, I, of course, and dang it, I missed the first coin, and uh, I got all the, all uh, one coin, and got on the rope, so I don't have sugar skills. Uh, sugar skills, it means I didn't do stuff like how Sugar Conroy did before. Well, uh, like, I'm not copying his stuff, but it's just, sweet. I'm just, uh, inspired by his stuff. Uh, anyway, you see these shadows right there? If you actually, uh, spray them clean, they come out as... A tree. Yeah, they rumble around like a tree. That's because of these uh, piranha plants that are actually popping out. If you have three coins, it's water for you. And look at those balls. If you just like spray them down, they are decapitated piranha plant heads. And of course, you might know the floating death and body dead of piranha plants. <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyway, so uh, I have to make a clean path around here. And I'm gonna have to. No, get away from me, you floated distant body head of piranha plant. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call him. And I sprayed him down, and again, the same polluted piranha that I fought earlier. But this time he's actually, uh, actually more defensive. He closes, closes and opens his mouth, because you only have to shoot him in the mouth when it's open. 
Yeah, if you, if you shoot him when it's close, he'll just gonna have to uh, let go. Oh uh, yeah, he's gonna have to shake it off. Oh, uh, no, 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 no mudslide, no mudslide, ah. Uh, why am I, why am I mudsliding around here? Oh, oh, man. Oh, there we go. Now he's done. Oh, no, no more mudsliding, okay? I just wanna get rid of this. Oh, okay. I gotta get rid of this. You know what? The game does it on itself. It's goop is gone, so we finished it. And that course brings up our second shine spray. Wait, what was that noise? Oh, it's the coins, uh, of course, from the trees. Whatever. Anyway, before we get that shine, I should say that there was a Pianta right on that windmill that say that you're going too far, you're gonna have to go back! Yeah, and of course, he's trying to tell you that you're gonna have to get the shine spray right here. Well, I'm gonna get it anyway, cuz we're done with this first mission or episode or whatever. I'm a dirty boy. Alright, so now we are introduced with another boss character, PD Piranha. Uh, it is an introduction of his uh, life in Nintendo, but later on he became a playable character in Mario games. Other Mario games, like Mario sports games, like the, I don't know, like tennis, or I don't know. But let me try this, and uh, yes, there we go, we got the sugar skills. Yep, got the same skills as Sugar Conroy. Well, first fail, but now I got a success. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, look at all this glass. How did this get over here? I tell you, I already cleaned this up. How are there more? Oh well, let me just help with this little piranha plant, and there we go. Ow! Oh, what the? Was that another one there? Oh boy. Whoa, hey, get out of here. There you go, dead. Alright, so, wait, whoa, whoa, how did that big glob get in? Oh, what just happened? What, what the? Oh my god. Was that puke I just saw? Oh my god, I just saw some puke. This is all puke! Oh my god, this is so gross! <sighs> Alright, so the bridge is out, so you're gonna have to cross it with the hover nozzle, which of course is easy. Okay, gotta be careful and not try to slip around here. I don't want to get another mudslide incident, as just like before when I fought that polluted piranha for the third time. And around here, you'll see the bloody, dead body had a piranha plant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I hate that puke. Man, I don't know what's up with uh, PD Piranha right now, but it's just grossing me out. It's, yeah, it's grossing me out. <sighs> Capitated piranha plants again. Yeah, I'm just gonna call them the Capitated Piranha plants. I was just gonna start calling them what I just did before, but nah. Nah. I don't wanna steal anything from other Ledge players. I'm not like that. I'm not that kind of guy. Anyway, so we'll just uh, blow him up until he explodes! <laughs> yes, he exploded from obesity from drinking a lot of water. I don't know why piranha plants always do that. Oh, boy. Anyway, you can see some streets of water. That means you can e actually heal up yourself so you can get some more water for yourself. Alright, so I gotta avoid these vines around here. And there's the Pianta. That's the Pianta will say that you are going too far. <laughs> Could you help out with that big headed creature up there? You're the only one we could ask and leave us a hand. I know it's a pain, but do you think you can handle it? Yeah, of course. You're too lazy to do that. Anyway, you see that graffiti M? It contains a blue coin. Anyway, uh, throughout this, uh, there are 30 blue coins in every, uh, level. But I'm not gonna collect them all at once. You know, I'm not gonna go through every level during the, during the actual mission and actually do it. But I'm just gonna have to do it in a separate video where I'm gonna cut every piece and get all the blue coins at once to show you where they are. Anyway, this mission was actually originally called The Marriage on the Windmill. You know, of course, that P.D. Piranha and Mario was supposed to get married, and I think that was just, uh, ridiculous. So they changed the name to Down to P.D. Piranha because of this. <laughs> you see that? The windmill is cracking, and they don't even realize that. The second look, and they go with awe, and then they fell to their doom! <laughs> I gotta say, Mario is more funny. Anyway, now here we are with our boss battle, PD Piranha, I'll tell you, this guy is really gross. First thing you have to do, ow! Anyway, you have to uh, spray all this goop off the floor so you will have a bigger vest. And what you're gonna have to do, you gotta go to first person and shoot the water right in his mouth! If you're done correctly, he'll go obese, his belly button will expand, then you gotta have to uh, round pound on it. Yeah, it gives you an arrow that says, grab pound on his belly button, dummy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Don't get too close to him because he'll swing his head around. That'll be dangerous if that happens. Okay. 
So, what is he gonna do? Stop doing that little wave dancing. There we go. Okay, so now he's gonna have to, you gotta have to be careful once you think. He, if you uh, if you actually use that, if his belly gets expanded, he'll spew out more uh more uh barf than ever. Or I don't know what else. I don't know what else it's called. Uh, he'll yeah vomit. He'll he'll vomit even more. Whatever. Ugh, man, I'm saying whatever a lot now. Yeah, so we will just do one more score to make sure it goes so beast and now there he goes. Going down. And then we just have to grab him for the last time and What I touched him! I I I, I thought it didn't touch him. Uh, how did that even actually connect? That is just weird. Anyway, he melts down like a popsicle. And then he gives us the shine sprite. Well that's really good. I got two shine sprites in one video. Well, I'm really sad because this is the only time I'm gonna have to do that because I wasted a lot of time telling you about the details about these levels. Well, we got shine sprite, and uh, right throughout every video, I'm gonna have to save every time because uh, once I save, that means that's the last shine sprite I'm gonna get. So anyway, now when you get three shine sprites, this guy, uh, this little gate opens up to tell you that you're ready to go on to the next level. But we're not gonna do that right now because I want to focus on one level at a time. Anyway, so now that we're here, let me talk to uh, let me talk to Peach and see what she has to say. Welcome back. We're so glad you're safe, Mario. This vacation just been a whirlwind of bizarre events, huh? And now the boat to the hotel isn't even running. Oh well. Well, I think that does it right now for this video, so next time on Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, we are going to go back to Bianca Hills and actually complete some more missions. See you guys then!